And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got his veteran tight end Landry. Touchdown, Jaguars! Carter Landry, his 21st touchdown of the season. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And Charles had a very one-sided affair. I think we reached the point in the broadcast where you and I, we may have some filling to do, right? Yeah, I think you're right about that because we got to try to keep people around. We don't want them to change the channel. Stay with us in this game. Is that and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Porter Gustin just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Rolling to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The Jaguars on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 17. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Well, this one caught out wide by Landry. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Looking to throw. Madden. And his throw is incomplete. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. And he makes it all the way down to the 19. A big play that time for Jacksonville. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for them during this game. Buying time to his left. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. We've got a lopsided game here. I don't know, Charles, what does the handbook say that we, we discuss when we've got a game like this in the fourth quarter? Hold on a second. Let me, let me thumb to the proper page on that. Know what it says? Yeah. Let's discuss how we got here. This is a dominant performance. Where they took control of this game. How they've managed to keep control of this game. And then we go ahead and think about how we're going to leave here and get to the airport. <laughs> In a lopsided blowout, the roads are usually open. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And yeah, they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. On first down, Madden escaping the pressure right. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And got his man complete. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. 
They can now enjoy the final stages of this one. A very convincing win. I don't know what was said in the locker room, but whatever it was, it worked pretty well. It certainly did, and it's probably a capper to everything that was said during the week because they go over every eventuality. I mean, you know how coaches are. They want to cover every... And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. easier when they're scoring that many points allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow so for the Jags they move ever closer to the perfect regular season as they run things to 14 and 0 and they will hit the road next week to take on the New York Jets meanwhile for Houston their slim playoff hopes are gone now as they fall to five and nine and they will get a home date next week against the Los Angeles Chargers. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody. So I got to say, I am stoked to finally welcome our pal Carter Landry back to the show. Last we spoke, Carter, you talked about the special chemistry on your team. Fast forward to now, and the Jaguars are preparing for the postseason. What's the mindset these days? We're just locked in, man. It's like that LT line from NFL Films, you know. We're going to go out there like a bunch of crazy dogs. We're hungry, Kevin. Yeah, look, I can hear it in your voice. But real talk for a minute here, Carter. This has got to be personal for you as well, right? I mean, eight years in the league, this will be your first playoff appearance. What does it mean to finally get to this moment? I mean, that's why we play the game. You want to play on that playoff stage? You want that chance to prove yourself? But it ain't good enough to just get here. Uh, no, no, sir. No, look, now you're here but you also want to get the job done, right? No doubt. I mean, I ain't going to be around forever. I don't have much time left in this league. Hey, I, I get it. And, and it's not just, wait, wait a minute, back up a sec. I don't have much time left in this league. Carter, you're not seriously talking about what I think you're talking about, are you? Yeah, man, I mean, I'll be back for sure next year. I've got another year on my contract here and I definitely don't want to be playing anywhere else. But after next season, maybe it's time for me to graduate from the NFL. Wow. Wow. I did not expect things to go down that road today. But look, whatever you choose to do after next season, I'm sure you'll make the right decision for you and your beautiful family. Which reminds me, I saw that picture your older bro posted of you back in high school, and I couldn't help but notice all the trophies in your old bedroom. It looked like a mini shrine in there.